Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning how to lower the energy usage of your Raspberry Pi. Now, you might ask yourself, why do I care to lower the power draw of something so small? Well, on a single Pi, as demonstrated here, it might not matter that much, but if you rely on a cluster of multiple Pis in your home or office, these small changes add up and scale across your entire cluster, which can result in substantial savings in your electricity bill. There are two main ways to lower the power draw of your Pi, turning off the LEDs and turning off the HDMI port. The latter has a lot more impact than the former, especially if you're running your Pi's headless, which is how you should be running them. Here, I'm SSH into my Pi, and let's get cracking and turning off the LEDs. Each LED uses 5 milliamps of power, so together you save 10 milliamps, or 0.01 watts. Definitely nothing substantial, but again, if you have 10 Pi's, that's 0.1 watts right there, which runs you about $2 in electricity over 10 years. We're going to assume you have a decent power supply and can trust it to keep your Pi's powered, so we'll turn off the LEDs permanently. First, you navigate to slash boot slash config.txt in your browser, in your uh, editor of choice here, you're using nano. Then just put in these four lines of code. DT param equals act underscore LED underscore trigger equals none. And then DT param equals ACT underscore LED underscore active low equals off. And that disables the action LED or the one that uh, signals whether or not the disk is active. The same thing can be done for power, except instead of ACT, put in PWR, which I'm doing here. Now save and quit. Now if you reboot, those should not be on, and this works with the Model 2 and above. Uh, here this demonstrated on the Model 3 um, a Raspberry Pi. On the Pi Zero, this is slightly different, as the LEDs function in the opposite way. That is, they turn off to indicate disk activity. There, you would just add these two lines of code instead. So you would say DTParam equals ACT underscore LED underscore trigger equals none, and then DT param equals ACT equals LED equals, sorry, not equals underscore, uh, active low equals on. Um, that way, uh, as you notice, it's very similar to the action LEDs on the twos and above, but here with the zero, like since it's basically backwards, we're doing it this way. Now, as far as the HDMI port is concerned, you're up for bigger power savings as the HDMI port uses 25 milliamps of power. Again, with 10 pies, you're looking at approximately $4 in savings over 10 years. Now, again, this sounds like nothing, but it compounds once you reach the hundreds of pies kinds of clusters similar to what bigger companies are doing. Uh, since you're likely running headless anyway, there is no reason not to do this as it involves just a single line of code. Uh, simply navigate to slash etc slash rc dot local and add the slash user slash bin slash tv service dash o to, uh, to it. That way this disables the power circuitry to the HDMI port on boot. And if you want to change it, just do a dash P to re-enable it. Again, save and quit. And if you reboot, you'll notice that there is no power to your HDMI port. So there you go. This is a quick way to save six bucks in your electricity bill over 10 years for each Pi that you have. Links to all of this uh, and including the code are found in the description below as long as, along with some additional reading materials. If you can think of other clever ways to lower the energy footprint of your Pi, drop me a comment below. I'll be happy to either amend this video or create an additional one. And thanks and see you next time.